Note, you are 100% responsible for your own actions. If you do not have the skill to perform basic tasks, stop and do not continue. You are 100% responsible for your own actions. It's the beer talking is not responsible for you and or your actions. Continue at your own risk. This is the basic parts list I used for my prototype bottle washer. Some things may have been substituted or changed. If you have any questions, please contact me. I purchased a Rubbermaid food tote, 26 inches by 18 inches by 9 inches from Amazon. I also purchased a submersible pump, 800 gallons per hour with high lift. You will need approximately 15 feet of copper tubing cut at various sizes as listed here. The different sizes were so that it would fit in to the actual food tote and allow some room for different size bottles such as 12 ounce, 24 ounce, 22 ounce and even growlers if need be. You will also need a variety of tees, 90 degree elbows, a shark bite threaded adapter, some PEX tubing one inch to fit over the half inch copper tubing to allow different pressures and different water flows into the bottles. This is a basic tools list. Some things may have been substituted, but the basics are a propane, propane torch, propane tank, water soluble flux, a brush to add the flux, lead free solder, a pipe cutter, steel brush, another steel brush, pliers, tape measure, pen, Shark bite removable tool. This will remove the tube from the pump and the shark bite connection. Some a PVC pipe cutter, a cordless drill, and a drill bit. So this is basically what we are making right here. So if anything differs, just remember this. So basically we'll have to mark and cut the variety of different length half inch copper tube or copper pipe. Whatever the cheapest pipe is that you can get, this isn't going to be something that we need to spend more money than we already will be spending. And as you're doing it, kind of get a feel of what we're making here. Lay it out, get some bottles, do not do anything other than attach it together so that we have a general idea of what it will be like. This is a, it's already assembled, uh, not soldered, just put together. We still need to drill the holes, flux it, and solder. But we just want to make sure that it all fits together right and is the right size uh, that we're looking for. So disassemble and start drilling the holes into the half inch copper caps. This will allow a stream of water to flow into the bottle.
do that for all 12. And then you have to prep for soldering. So you want to use that outer diameter brush to do the outer diameters of the copper and the inner diameter 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 brush to do the inside. Then we use our flex brush to flex flex it up. We use our flux brush to flux both the inside diameter and outside diameter of what we are going to solder. So what the flux does is it allows it to suck the solder, liquid solder, in as it's heated the solder will be attracted to the flux. So wherever the flux is you heat it up and then you add the solder and it will, as you notice, it will actually suck into that joint. You'll then do that for all the pieces. I suggest starting with the 8 inch and all the caps makes it easier. I had never done soldering before so this is my first attempt and one thing you have to be careful of when you're soldering these is the bottle has to fit over top so any gunk or thick areas the bottle may not fit over so make sure you do not have big chunks or gunk uh, of solder make sure you use just enough and you don't change that diameter or else the bottle could break putting on or off or might not fit at all so heat is very important when you're soldering copper so you heat up as best you can and then as you add it it uh, you add the solder as you see here and it will suck into the the joints that one actually is perfect. Not all of them were. And you do this for the rest of them. Make sure you flux both the inside and outside. Press together the pipe into the fitting securely. And then I just went around, heated up, and soldered all the areas, as you can see. This will do a total of 12 bottles, 12 or 22 or 24 ounce. Uh, if you're doing a growler, obviously, that's you're going to have to... Uh, adapt you can't do 12 growlers on this at a time then you need to have some spacers and this allows the flow of water to either um, shoot higher or lower and the bottles have a tendency to fill up with the water so this will prevent that and allow it to drain while keeping a steady flow of water flowing into the bottle. If you don't have that, it shoots to the top and fills up and it, it, uh, it doesn't work properly. So you have to kind of adjust what's best for you and what you like with the different sizes of PVC. You can either use none or find that happy uh, length that works well. So the shorter and the longer, the longer the PVC or PEX is, uh, will determine if the bottle fills up, which isn't necessarily what you want. You want a steady uh, flow of water going into the bottle. So this gives you the basics 
of a bottle washer. There's many different designs, many different ways of doing it. This was my interpretation and what I did. And it so far has been working fine. Uh, it's not cheap to do. Uh, if you did mass production, you could obviously bring the price down, but that's not what I'm doing. I'm just trying to find something that's useful, that works well, um, and that can save water and time during my brewing. So if you like this video, please contact me and let me know at contact at itsbeertalking.com. You will probably have to adjust and modify this to suit your needs as you see fit. This is strictly a prototype and strictly what I did and what worked for me. So please let me know if it works for you. If it doesn't, if you made any modifications, let me know and I'd be happy to, uh, to know what it is that you have done and, um, and to compare what can be done. So thank you very much for watching and please watch our, uh, our other videos. It's the beer talking.com does not endorse nor encourage the use of drugs or alcohol to minors, alcoholics, drug addicts, the elderly, children, people with liver disease, heart problems, any medical conditions for that matter, the stupid, the offended, and or anyone who just can't handle it. Please be responsible.